are again, watching my every move in this place. A hidden safe. There's also a poem here, written by Father Bill. I copied it to my notepad. Digit code. Good to know. Nothing unusual, just a schedule of typical church events. Oof, no corpses, just Nothing interesting in the pockets either. Wouldn't be a church without one. Books on spirituality and theology. Locked. I should search the office instead. In the text, Father Bill's family members are used as reference points. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? I copy the grave layout to my notebook. Ne okay, these graves must somehow correspond to Father Bill's poem. Let's see if I can figure it out. Center above below. No, that can... Of course! The sign of the Lord! Some of the graves can form the shape of a cross! Now, if I can only figure out which dates are relevant... No, I don't see a connection here. Yes, that must be it. Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. I'm sure I'm close now. I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. No, I'm... 
No, I'm... No, I'm pre... I'm sure the year is correct, but I think I messed up the... F I think that's too many digits. From lasting to brief. Year, month, day. That's gotta be it! Found a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape in there. watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. You're back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Let's talk, Sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions about that church, but I never thought it went this deep. Yeah. So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay. Can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Think nothing of it.
Hello again, my child. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will. I have all the time in the world. Who is the Crimson One? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. Tell me what you did to my friend, Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. She is part of his world now. You're not talking about a Christian God. Of course not. I'm talking about the old God, slumbering in the darkness beyond. What are you saying? You offered Eileen's soul to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the stairs of judgment. Wait, so you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. Listen to this, Isaac. This is William T. Price. My what is this? Concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the Crimson One. We're on the same side. Preposterous. No one has witnessed that apostate since Father's death. I've been north of the lake, but he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all, and the divine work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. He mentioned north of the lake. I'll probably have to narrow it down more, but it's something. Father, have you abandoned me? I will atone for my sins, I swear it. God have mercy on me. I'll just borrow this for a while. My God. 
God, what is this place? Met her end. Someone left this message here for me. Met a huge hole with no visible bottom. It's the red scythe flower. So much for being endangered. Intense. Oh, they're making me a bit dizzy. Greetings. You again. Me again. You better have some answers, Crimson One. All in due time. Your friend is being claimed by the darkness. She's standing on the brink of the abyss as we speak. Are you talking about Eileen? Yes. If you wish to save her, you must descend. Why? What is down there? The tribulation. The reflection of the soul. We call it the mending. Who's we? My kind. Servants of the old god. To what end do you serve this god? What does your kind actually want? All we want is for you to take your medicine, Kathy. For you to grow and be happy. If that's the case, why were all those people hurt? Lily? Jimmy? Grandpa? You misunderstand. What one wants and what one is able to do are two different things. Happiness is not a one-way street. It cannot be given, only earned. Your grandfather understood that. He embraced it. Wait, you saw Grandpa? Oh yes, right here. He was a tortured soul, desperate for some kind of meaning after losing the light of his life. You. He sought the power below, the vessel of redemption. But Grandpa didn't make it. He failed. How could I succeed when he wasn't able to? He was so much stronger than me, so much braver. Is that what you believe? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think. But why me? Why are you making me do this? Because you so desperately need it, Kathy. You're haunted by your past, by all these painful memories long forgotten. They follow you like a shadow, pulling you down. They taint your every thought, impulse, and deep desire. It is foul to us. This is crazy. I could just walk away, get on my bike and drive, forget I was ever here. There's nothing stopping you. Eileen. I can't leave her like that. I see now why he speaks so highly of you. Surreal. It looks like grandma's, but different. Hey, where'd all my things go? Looks like grandpa and Eileen have both signed already. No dial tone. There was a pen hidden inside. What the? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Do you like what we did to Mom? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do.
You're a complete lunatic, aren't you? Takes one to know one. Now, I'd love to stay and chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. That thing looks alive. I don't even want to think about what happened there. More gears grinding away. A jukebox, broken by the looks of it. Oh my god. Mom? You're here? Mom, can you hear me? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. It's too tough. There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. Got it. There you go, Mom. Are you okay? <laughs> no! choice. I had to put you away. You started hurting yourself. You started hurting me. I forgive you. <laughs> oh God, get me out of this place. There's a weird scarab thing in there. Got it. There's also something here on the door itself. Refrigerator magnets in the shape of Scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Pokes in jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. Not sure what to make of it all. It has a hard shell. I'll need something heavy to break it. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. Looks like a postcard is lying here on the floor. You killed Mom. That wasn't Mom, it was some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her, Dad. No, it can't be. Who's your daddy now, bitch? Stay away from me! I've been angry with you for as long as I can remember. 
I've hated you more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad, but I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. gears grinding away. Nothing in this place appears to be tuned. The chain looks broken there. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. The paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. Gears are moving behind the window. The elevator is open. I didn't hear an impact. Does it even have a bottom? are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. This padlock might be useful. I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. should work. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. Indentations. Doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. It's the small key that I found inside the scarab. There's a keychain attached with a red heart followed by Ma. Do 
you see? I don't want to see. Do you see? Yes, kid, I see. Do you know who I am now? I don't like this. I want to go home. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Do you regret what you did? No, I don't. I have done nothing wrong. You're just here to test me, to try and break me. Good. The heart must be pure. This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Who are you? The dweller in the lake, the conduit. Lily? I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who is? You know who, Kathy. Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Damn, it's locked. I should attach that chain to something first. No use. All right, we should be good to go. You! You have ruined everything! Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? This mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Now get the hell out of my way. No! You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original. I am. This can't be happening. I'm speechless. That's a first. No, it can't be. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. But how is this even possible? You're, you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, Kathy. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here. 
so we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. Hurry, now before he sees us. Wait! Don't go! I need to go back up. Scenes are flashing by on the TV, depicting dogfighting in black and white. A shot of a corpse keeps flashing by. The gears follow me wherever I go. <gasps> it's the red man. He knows what I'm up to. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. I don't want to burn that. It's too humid. The lighter alone won't be able to ignite them. That should be enough. Major forest fire raging in Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained, largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. You're back. We were worried about you. Oh, thank God it actually worked. Are you okay, E? I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. I think so, too. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. Yes, about that poor man. Uh, the sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Welcome home, son. Guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. At 
least we stopped him from hurting any more people. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it, once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there'll be a next time?